that war to keep the scab cargo from moving. Our elders that summer did battle a train. In 2011 we'll fight one again to keep the big bungee from scabbing its grain across the longshore jurisdiction. Today we are facing a terrible foe, a company founded on slave trading dough that moved into grain 20 decades ago, directed by Johann P. Bungie. The grandson of Bungie built Bungie and born, he treated the people with terrible scorn, and thousands were slaughtered so he could own corn that's grown on the Argentine prairie. And now how their power and money did roll, they purchased whole government's body and soul. Now ADM, Cargill, and Bungie control two-thirds of the grain on the planet. Wherever they go, they're exempted from tax. They're given the subsidized railroad tracks. They're given good land that they never give back. We think they should pay union wages. On Bastille Day, the 14th of July, 200 men sat on the railroad ties, declaring the bungee train wouldn't pass by unless it was going to hire them. The sheriff remarked that it was a nice day, suggesting the longshoremen move out the way. They answered him back in the same polite way, declining to take his suggestion. The engineer trainmen sat logging their time. They said that they wouldn't cross over our line. For health and for safety, they'd rather decline to pull any closer to Longview. The PMA merchants and Bungie conspire to bust up our unions. It is their desire. A 